Hello friends, in this session we will look at knockout based tournaments. The uh, caselet is uh, in front of you, you should go through the case. The case goes like this. The BNP Paribas Open is a 7 round tennis tournament played on a knockout basis. That is in each round in a match between two players the winner advances to the next round while the loser gets eliminated with no match ending in a tie. Players can also advance if given a bye which happens only in the first round. The players taking part are seeded 1 to 3 till the last player. In the first round the top 8 seeded are given a bye while the second player seeded 9 plays the last seeded player and so on and so forth. In the next round player 1 will play with uh, the uh, winner of the match 64, the player seeded, play, uh, seeded 2 plays the uh, winner of the match 63 and so on. These are designated matches 1, 2 and so on. Uh, and so on and so forth, this uh, match will continue. The process continues in the successive rounds till a player emerges as the winner. A match between two players is said to result in an upset when a lower seeded player beats a higher seeded player. Question 1. What is the total number of players taking part in the tournament? The first question that uh, we need to understand is, let's first broadly understand how this tournament is being played. Uh, this is actually a slightly complicated set, but given the importance of uh, this kind of uh, questions, it is really worth the uh, effort to understand what is uh, going on here and how to, uh, how to solve this kind of sets. So let us say, if I'm looking at a knockout tournament, in the final round, player seeded 1 and 2, they will be playing with each other. I am assuming that there are absolutely no upsets. We will come to the upsets in a little while. In the second round, I am uh, counting from the last round. This was the final. This is the semi-final. In the semi-final, 1 and 4 will have played. 2 and 3 will have played. In the next round, 1, 8, 4, 5, 2, 7, 3, 6, they will have played. In the round before this, it will be 1, 16, 8, 9, 4 and uh, 13, 5 and 12, 2, 15, 7, 10, 3, 14 and 6, 11 they will have paid and so on and so forth. Now, at some point you might be wondering how am I able to write these numbers so fast. Uh, if you observe the sum of any two players who are playing in this round is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. So, which, is can, be, which can be written as 2 to the power 1 plus 1. The sum of any two players 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 1, 5. This can be written as 2 square plus 1. The sum here is 6 plus 3, 9, 7 plus 2, 9, 4 plus 5, 9, 8 plus 1, 9. So, this is equal to 2 cube plus 1. Similarly, here the so total will be 2 to the power 4 plus 1. Here it will be 2 to the power 5 plus 1, 2 to the power 6 plus 1, 2 to the power 7 plus 1. So, over here the total should be equal to 129, this will be 65, this will be 33, this will be 16 plus 1, 17, this is 8 plus 1, 9, this is 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5 and this is 3. So, these are the totals for various rounds. Now, why am I doing looking at this total? See, the thing is that, let us say I have to find who will be playing with player seeded 15 in this round. In order to find the person who will be playing with player seeded 15, all I need to do is, this is 15, the total has to be equal to 33. If the total has to be equal to 33, 33 minus 15 is 18. So, the other player will be player number 18. In the round before this, the total is 65. If the total is 65, so 15 and uh, 50 will be together and 18 and 47, they will be together. And similarly for the last round, last round also. So if I have understood this one thing clearly, I would be able to recreate the table uh, for the earlier rounds uh, simply using this idea. And uh, that is more or less the crux of uh, this uh, DI set. Now let's take a look at the questions. Uh, question one: What is the total number of players taking part in the tournament? 
uh, in the tournament the total number of uh, rounds is uh, given as 7 if the total number of rounds is uh, 7 that means that here the uh, last seeded player he should have been 128 however because uh, if there were 128 players all the players would have played with each other but that is not the case what is happening here is that 1 to 8 they have got a buy if 1 to 8 have got a buy that means that the number of players was 8 less than 128 so if the number of players is 8 less than 128 128 minus 8 120 option c will be your answer that was question 1 question 2 what is the number of matches won by the winner of the tournament as far as the number of matches won by the winner of the tournament is concerned if we assume that the winner is one of the persons who has been playing from the first round then he will have played an overall seven rounds because for every round he will have to play uh, one match however in case the uh, winner of the tournament is one of the players from player seeded 1 to 8 then he will not have to play in the first round and if he does not have to play in the first round then he can be the winner of the tournament even if he has played just six rounds so six or seven any of the two possibilities is there answer would be cannot be determined at this stage i would also like to ask uh, what is the total number of matches in the tournament if we know that the total number of players is 120 then what is the total number of matches that are played in the tournament the answer will be 119 uh, in we should always remember this that the number of matches in a knockout tournament is always n minus 1 so the number of matches in a knockout tournament is always n minus 1 so uh, where n is the number of players so the number uh, the number of matches is always n minus 1 where n is the number of matches you may ask why uh, the idea is that finally or uh, whatever may be the number of players finally only one person is going to win the tournament so that means that rest everybody will have to be eliminated now in order to eliminate one person i need exactly one match and alternately in every match one person gets eliminated so therefore in order to eliminate n minus 1 people i will need to play one n minus 1 matches so therefore n minus 1 is the number of matches now and always